there. Are you at a point in your business where your growth has come to a halting stop and you're not exactly sure why it's happening? You are fully consumed in the day to day of your business, you know, serving your clients, um, you know, sending out invoices, doing the things to support your clients, which really don't have the time to actually work on your business, you know, to be the person who's in the strategic seat, who's thinking about how you're actually going to grow. And if you're at a point where you just feel like maybe you're booked out, but you are at capacity, you just don't even have the time to focus on growing your business, I want you to keep listening. We're going to talk about that today. So if you guys are new to me, hello and welcome. Um, if you're a returning veteran and you're familiar with the Hawk Hustle headquarters, I'm super excited to have you back. My name is Jerisha Hawk. I'm a high ticket sales coach, creator of a signature program called Services That Sell, and I help um, coaches and consultants launch high ticket offers and sell those and sell those services consistently so they can you know really start to grow their income and earn more money in their business so um as you guys are watching this live or catching this in the replay i want to get a quick pulse of kind of where you're at specifically in your business um so are you at a point right now where you're either at capacity, meaning that you can't take on any more clients, but you're still not bringing in the amount of money you want to be bringing in. So that's, I'd say, uh, column A, you know, put in an A in the comments or raise your hand on that one if you can relate, where you're at capacity, you cannot take on any more clients, but you're not actually hitting the revenue goal that you want to be hitting. Um, or two, are you in a point in your business where you are trying to get more clients, um, so you can hit your income goals, but you're not able to actually enroll clients consistently. And you can use that as B. So just let me know which one you most identify with, because I think it's really important for us to to have this conversation. I was um, I dropped my dog off yesterday to get groomed. And it's like, this is the story of you never really know who's watching you. Um, the owner of the the dog grooming, dog boarding, dog daycare place um, has actually been watching my live stream videos. And we got into like a really interesting conversation because, you know, she's um, a brick and mortar service based business. You know, her she provides a service of grooming animals or, um, you know, dog sitting animals or whatever. Um, and she was like, you know, I really resonated with a lot of what you've been saying lately because I'm at a point where we're almost at capacity with the, the how we can de deliver our service, but my hands are so caught up and ingrained in the day-to-day -day of the business that I have no time to actually think or work on how we're going to grow the business or how we're going to get out of this consistency that we're in right now. And I think a lot of business owners fall into that rut. And even, even if, you're, if you're at the point where you're booked out um, or almost at capacity with the number of clients you can actually take on and you are still not hitting the revenue goal that you want to be hitting, or if you're at a point where you've been working in, on your business, you know, maybe you're just, you know, creating offers, trying to figure out which business model you should move forward with, trying to figure out what service you can sell. Um, so you can actually get to a point where you start selling you. I think there's a parallel between the two worlds, um, mainly because we, regardless of which boat you're in, more often than not, not many times you are probably focused on things that are not allowing you to gain momentum, right? Whether you're in a point right now in your business where, you know, I see a couple of you guys saying that you're at the point where you're trying to figure out what you need to sell so you can hit your income goals, you're not at capacity yet. I'm curious to know, um, or I guess something for you to think about is if you are focusing your efforts on things that are not moving the needle forward in your business, you're going to stay in that rut, right? So I think um, one of the main reasons that I, I personally see clients who come across my table um, is that they're at, they're at a point where they're at capacity and they don't have the space to actually work on their business and they're not hitting their income goals. Typically, it's normally an issue with like operations, meaning that they either like they have to scale, like the way for them to scale is not to grow the business more rapidly necessarily, but it's like, how do you scale yourself? How do you automate or more things within your business so you can get out of the day to day? Or two, how do you um, bring in more revenue without necessarily working more, like putting out more effort? And one of the simple, and, and if you're at a point in your business where you're not at capacity, 
um, but you're just trying to get to a point where you're not exerting a ridiculous amount of time, energy, and effort to actually start to bring in real revenue. For most individuals, I would ask the question, are you currently offering a high ticket service? And the reason why I say this, I think a lot of the time, um, and I know this was me when I first started my business, I got caught up in the day-to-day -day of, I want to build a passive business. I want to sell cheap offers at high volume to hit my income goals. I want to have these super complicated funnels with um, where I'm increasing the lifetime value of my client by making them buy three or four things before I actually introduce them to the one thing that I want that I know will solve their problem. And the thing that I learned, the thing that I'm learning with many people who, probably you who are watching this, you are, if you're in a position where you don't have a large audience, meaning you don't, have a, you don't already have an existing body of people that could potentially buy your offer, um, it can be very difficult. Like, and if you don't have the capital or the capacity to actually implement these, like play the long-term game of that and to, and to implement these like really complicated sales funnels, it can be very difficult to really gain momentum or to get yourself out of this place where you're a bit stagnant and you're trying to grow. And one of the things that um, I think all of us, I, and I think I want to ask you is like, are you currently offering a high ticket service? Meaning, are you selling something right now in your service suite that is offered at $1,500 or more per client? And if the answer is no, I really invite you to like lean into this because the, like, think about it. Like this is the thing that literally allowed me to quit my job. I was like, I'm not at capacity. I was at capacity with the amount of time and effort I was spending on my business and not seeing results. So maybe your capacity is that you can't bring on any more clients. Maybe your capacity is that you just, you have a very limited amount of time that you can, or you're exerting a, more energy, more time, more effort than what you're seeing being brought back in from a revenue standpoint. Like you're, you're working full time, but you're bringing back a minimum wage or you're, being, you're bringing back a no wage. Um, it's like, are you currently offering a high ticket service? And when I ask the question of, are you offering it? I think the big misconception that I see a lot of the time is people say, yeah, Jay, I have one or I'm creating one, but I can almost guarantee more often than not, you are not actually selling one consistently. Meaning that you do not have a sales process in place that is regularly inviting people into that offer. A lot of the time, and let me know for you guys, if you guys are watching this now or catching this in the replay, like, do you have a high ticket service that you currently offer in your, in your packages? Like, do you have something that is $1,500 or more per client that you are offering and selling? Um, and I don't just mean that you're thinking about or that you're creating, but that I mean that you're actually inviting people to buy. Um, and like that you actually have a sales process in place where you're actually inviting people to purchase it. And I think that's one of the main ways for helping people grow. Because I think a lot of the time, if you're in a business right now, if you have a business model where you're playing a low ticket game, and are you playing a low ticket game when, where you're trying to, but, but you don't have the volume to sustain that type of business model, you're going to hit a disconnect, right? Like I know even now, where when I first started my business, I had no followers. I like, like, like how do I actually figure out how to do this? And it, the, I think the simplest way for you to go out there and hit your income goals is by introducing a high ticket offer into your service suite. Um, and selling that consistently because it's way easier to get to $10,000 a month off of five clients at $2,000 each versus you trying to get to $10,000 a month off of like, I think about the place where I take Bentley to get groomed an expensive grooming experience is like $75, right? So if she wants to hit $10,000 a month off of a $75 grooming experience, she has to serve 134 clients a month to be able to hit that income goal. And if, if, you, don't, if you don't have the bandwidth to be able to support that many clients at one time, like it'll, it will be challenging for you to grow your business, right? So for those of you guys who are currently selling a high ticket service, um, pop in the comments and let me know, like, are you selling it consistently? And the reason why I think it's one, it's good for you to have a high ticket offer, but two, you need to have a process in place that allows you to sell it consistently is because if you have a high ticket offer in your suite, but you're only selling it once a quarter, um, I mean, I think it's still a win, but it's like, well, what can we do to, like, to amp up that your ability to be able to sell that consistently? And um, I can tell you now the number one way 
well, I guess another question I should be asking is, are you currently using live stream video in your marketing and sales um, strategy? And if you're not currently using live stream video, I'm telling you right now, you're missing out on a really huge opportunity for you to get in front of more clients, build that know, like, and trust factor quicker and shorten your sales cycle down. Um, live video is the quickest, like one, if you are at a point where you're not, you don't have the capacity to actually pay for ads or pay for eyes to be on your business, live video content gets prioritized over every other medium of content on pretty much every social media platform that exists. So if you use live video content, Facebook will promote that or content organically at a higher rate than they would um, a stagnant post or text to form um, content, things like that. And same thing is true on Instagram. Um, same thing is true on like live video content gets a higher organic reach. So if you're not currently using live stream video, one, I think I think you need to introduce a high ticket offer into your business. And two, you need to start introducing um, live video content as part of your marketing, you know, as part of your marketing into your into your business model. Um, and I'm seeing you, some of you guys saying that you are currently using live stream video. Um, it's making sure that not that you're not just going live, but that you're also one thing that we teach our students and services that sell. And one thing that we're going to be even introducing during next week, I'm hosting a free three part video training series called sales made simple. And I definitely invite you guys to join if you're trying to learn how to sell your high ticket service more consistently um, by also leveraging live video content. But one of the things that we will be discussing during the um, workshop, it's a three part, three day training series, is how to launch and sell your services, even if you're starting from scratch, how to know which of your ideas you should turn into a service that you can sell at a high ticket price point. And um, you'll learn how, you know, you'll discover what to do when you're struggling to convince people that what you offer is worth paying premium for. You'll learn how to 10x your income when you stop chasing passive income and start personally enrolling clients at a high ticket price point. But I think the thing for you guys, especially if you're currently using live stream video and you're not seeing the ROI from it, or if you are terrified of doing live stream video and you think that you should be using it, is going live, it's not just as simple as going live. Right? You need to know what you need to say and the type of content you need to package into your live stream videos to actually move people to take action. And that is something that we teach in my uh, program. But something I'll also be introducing to you guys during the three-part training series is every client goes through a sales cycle, meaning there's a, there's a level of awareness that a client needs to have before they're willing to make a buying decision. And just because you, your live stream content should be qualifying your leads. Your live stream content should be moving people through that sales process. Like it shouldn't just be content that you're creating to make content. It should be content that's actually driving people to take action. And if your content right now is not actually moving people to purchase, is not moving people through your sales cycle, there's probably a disconnect with the quality of content that you are producing. Um, so it's, it's making sure that you're also not just like I'm doing all the things, I'm making all the content, I'm creating all the freebies and I'm not getting the results. There's a disconnect with the quality of the content that you are producing. And that's something that we're gonna be talking a lot about in the Sales Made Simple three-part training series. So I invite you guys to join. If you are um, a service-based business owner, whether you're offering coaching services, consulting services, maybe you're a strategist or a freelancer and you're at a point where you have been in business long enough, or maybe you're just starting off and you want a simple way to hit your income goals without having to work with a ton of clients. Um, and I'm gonna teach you guys, and this is a really an, or an organic way for you to grow your business, but I would invite you guys to join us. We start on Monday, April 8th. Um, I'm super, super excited about it. It's gonna be a three-day training series over the course of that week. And you're gonna learn how to package and sell your high ticket offer and really, how to start incorporating high value content into your um, marketing plan. Because a lot of the time, many of us I know are spending a lot of time, and maybe this is you, where you're spending a ton of time creating free content, but you're not seeing an ROI from your efforts. And there might just be some slight tweaks and adjustments that you have to make to make your content more powerful and to make it 
clear to your audience what it is that you actually sell so you can qualify those leads before you get onto a sales call. So I invite you guys to join. Like I said, it's absolutely free, a three-day training series. Um, you can click the link in the comments or in the description to register and join, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, y'all.